Rodriguez and the rest of the Yanks have just been hitting the cover off the ball lately, and as you can see, that's not an exaggeration. Top of the second, the Yanks were at it again. Melky Cabrera, get out of town. Yanks had a 2 not the lead, but they're more than just hitting. They're playing some defense, too. In the bottom of the second, here's Reggie Sanders. High pop in a foul territory. I got it, I got it, I got it. A-Rod almost goes past the ball. And it's all fun and games for the Yankees now, the way they're swinging the bats. Top of the eighth, here is Rodriguez. Up and out, that is career home run number 499, his 35th homer of the season, equaling last year's total in 54 fewer games. Top of the ninth, you had to figure somebody was bound to get plunked by a pitch. It was Derek Jeter, took it to his back and shoulder area. Jeter would leave the game. Two batters later is A-Rod a chance. Well, career home run number 500. It'll have to wait another day. Yankees hang on for their sixth consecutive win. Their deficit in the East is just six and a half. They're four and a half out of the wild card. Getting career win 299 hasn't been easy for Tom Glavin. Maybe his best chance was here against the slip sliding away Bucks. In the top of the first, after he walked the bases loaded, got Xavier Nady to hit into a double play out of the jam. Some offensive support. Off the bat of Tom LaDuke, Paul LaDuca. He laces one at the left center. David Wright and Carlos Delgado score. Later in the inning, Sean Green to left. Jason Bay tried to make the grab, and then I think she's doubling up Marlon Anderson, but well, he's really not getting anybody. The ruling on the field is that Bay trapped the ball. That looked like the way it was. Jim Tracy is furious at everything. The Bucks have fallen a season-high 17 games under 500. As for Glavin, got some help from his D. Tom Glavin gets it done. Career win, 299. We're also in San Francisco. Barry played all 13 innings Tuesday night, so they held him out of the starting lineup Wednesday. Giants in, there's a good chance he'll be back in there for Thursday afternoon's series finale. Rich Aurelia doing his best Bonds impression. Solo shot. Fourth of the year, Giants had a 2-1 lead. Noah Lowry still in there in the eighth gets Edgar Renteria. Chipper Jones swinging. Next batter, Andrew Jones pops up in the foul territory. That play ends the inning and the threat. Noah Lowry, eight innings, four strikeouts, one earned. Top of the ninth, Braves down a run. Runner on third and two down. Brad Hennessy gets Kelly Johnson. Giants didn't need Barry on this night. Lowry improves to five and one his last six starts. Padres Rockies San Diego ended a four game losing streak Tuesday. It's one game winning streak ended Wednesday mostly by Matt Holiday here with his team down 2 0. Holiday Duck Streets won his 18th of the season. 2 1 pods, but they're going to have to deal with him again. He got up more than once. He got up four times and had a base knock each time here. That's a double. Run will score. Russell Brand, a little trouble out there. There's Kaz Matsui around in third, headed for home. Brown, that handsome man. Colorado's going to come back with 10 spot all in a row. 10 2. They're a winner. And Albert Pujols comes up 2-1. Here's Soriano. Shoots one down the right field line, and he's heading for three all the way. Soriano head first in with his fifth triple of the year. And the next batter in that top of the fifth, Ryan Terrio. That's a base hit. That's an RBI. Soriano scores. Comes up by a score of three to one. Still in the fifth, runners in second, the third and two down. Two down would be a key in the game. That's Cliff Floyd, a two run double. The Cubs use five two out runs to win. Chicago improves baseball's best record since June 3rd, the 31 and 15. Marlins Dimebacks, three World Series championships combined in 25 combined big league seasons. That's last season's Cy Young winner Brandon Webb strikes out. Mike Jacobs there, he went seven innings, eight Ks, no earned runs. Scott Olson on the mound for the first time since his arrest Saturday morning here. Connor Jackson dings him up with two outs. Jeremy Hermina misplays the ball. Eric Burns, he will score 2 0 Arizona. Later, 4 0. Scott Harrison, there you go, the glove. Uh, you see where it's supposed to go, then you see the ball, and he missed the targets. Our man does not miss the ball. Off the wall, Snyder. Drew will score 6 0. Dimex, they make it 7 0 as Webb will get the win. Improves to 9 and 8 on the season. So how about that uh, wild card rate? Now you got what right at 100 games. It's about time to keep really close check on these things. Four teams in a wild card race separated by one game. All right, the Tigers in Chicago facing the league leader in losses. Jose Contreras, 12 losses. No one in the AL has more than 10. And Ryan Rayburn figured out this is a guy I might be able to take advantage of. In the top of the third, Rayburn 
who had four RBIs for his career entering the game. Picked up another RBI there. The top of the fourth, Rayburn hits, picks up three more RBIs there. So it's his first multi-home run game of his career. We're tied at five. Top of the fifth, Rayburn, a two-out single. Tack on another RBI and an 8-7 Tigers lead. On to the ninth, Tigers up 11-9. Two on and two outs for Rayburn. Lines one in a right center. That scores two more. Rayburn, four for five, his first career seven RBI game. Fifth player in the bigs to do that this season. Red Sox Indians coming into Wednesday's game. Fausto Carmona, 0-2 with an ERA of 45 against the Red Sox. He was better than that in this game. Here he gets David Ortiz, who's back after missing four games. All of them Sox wins in the third, still scoreless. Not anymore. Franklin Gutierrez just lights up that pitch from Josh Beckett. Sixth home run of the year. Cleveland takes a 1-0 lead. One was enough to win there the other night. Top six, Boston down 1-0. Carmona still hasn't given up a hit. Coco Crisp. The middle, Johnny Peralta gives good chase. Chris beats it out easily. So the Red Sox, at least now, not going to get no hit. Could they score? A couple of batters later, Big Poppy hits it through the shift. Josh Barfield, though, comes up from the outfield grass. Yeah, that, that's short right field. Chris Toast, Ed Rapuano, punches him out. Take another look. Chris slowed down just a little, and then he comes, and it, yeah, they got you. Red Sox, 1-0, still trailing. Bottom eight, same score. Sox with the man on first. Alex Cora hitting. Jason Veritek takes off for second. Decides he's going to go back and he's gone. Perhaps someone there may have missed a hit and run sign. Perhaps. Later in the eighth, Julio Lugo pinch running on first. He's going. He's not stopping, but Victor Martinez guns him down. Indians maintain the one nothing lead. Pairs, you only got to win by one and for the second straight night. It's going to be enough. Top nine. Poppy against Joe Borowski. Clutch? No, not here. Great pitching by the Indians. one nothing. It's the first time two AL teams have traded one-zip decisions since 1975. After going to A's and Angels under God's own afternoon sunshine in Anaheim. Mike Piazza looking for a sweep. Piazza in the fifth in a 2-2 game. Deep center, just right of center. Family Sundays almost as fun as home run Wednesdays. Top nine, A's down 6-3. Nick Swisher, bad nose Piazza, exchanging some words with a fan. Fan apparently threw an object onto the field. Water bottle, point him out. You, sir, you're done. And Officer Friendly would like to speak with you. Still top nine, A's down 6-4. Francisco Rodriguez on, K-Rod is walk rod. The base is loaded. Athletics within one. Marco Scudero pops up to right. Eric Chavez tagging at third. Racing home, and we are tied at six. Not the best outing for K-Rod. But they give you last wraps when you're the home team. Runner on second, two outs. May Sirius Torres. Joe Kennedy's pitch gets past him. Casey Kochman advances to third. Rob Bowen try to hold on to this one. This Torres hits it to left. Kochman will score, and the Angels will CPR finish here in the ninth, but they managed to win it 7-6. This fact is the baseball. Dodgers Astros, this one without Craig Biggio at retirement and, and him hitting a grand slam. Top five, Dodgers trailing one nothing. Derek Lowe lines one to right field. Luke Scott comes up and Derek not quite hustling. It's the old 9-3 put out. You don't see that very often, bit embarrassing. Lowe then back trying to pitch. First one to Eric Munson in the fifth. Not so good, Greg Little comes out. Lowe says, I'm done, fires it, not so good, therefore, plus sore groin. Top seven, Dodgers still down, Jeff Kent. Oh, man, you can wash my truck anytime off. Chad Qualls is 15th. Kent now has reached base safely in 36 straight games. It's the longest in Major League Baseball this season. Good streak there. Carlos Lee in a 1-1 game, not so much. Big hitter Lee, long, 20th homer. Astros go up 2-1. Brad Litch gets the save, 2-1. John McLaren's Mariners in Texas looking to avoid tying a season worst six game losing streak that I really want this job. Top of the eighth, tied at five, man on second. Raul Fañez puts one in the left field corner that scores Adrian Beltre. So Seattle's 6 5 lead, one of 12 doubles in the game. JJ puts in early for the save. Requiring four outs out of him. Shouldn't be a problem. He's 29 for 29. Hasn't given up a run in 22 and a third. In the bottom of the eighth, Ramon Vasquez. You're not supposed to be able to do that off old J.J. That's Putt's first blown save of the year. He had 31 straight saves. Eric Gagne unavailable. Since he saved both games of the doubleheader on Tuesday, no problem. Joaquin Benoit is there. They do sweep the four-game series. 
beer makers. Red locked up in the third of four in Cincinnati. Jeff Supon just no wins, one loss, ERA of five in his last five starts. Doesn't start well here. Brandon Phillips in the third, singles to right. Scott Hattieberg will score. Reds up one nothing. Two batters later with the bases chucked. Jeff Kepinger lines one down the first baseline. That's going to rattle around the right field corner. It's a triple Ryan Friel. Brandon Phillips had him done. Score. Reds lead four nothing. They made it five zip. All runs scored with two outs. Top eight Brewers down 5-3, threatening David Weathers, strikes out Jeff Jenkins, and then, oh yeah, caught him. That happens in the league all the time. Down to second, Kevin Mench out trying to get home from third. Now, the next thing you're going to see is not pretty, oh, actually very ugly. Careful. Bottom eight, very scary moment for Lopez. Matt Wise drills him right in the face. He is down. He is bloody. We'll look at it again. Just to see that in the protective helmet is great for the ear and the upper head, but when you get it in the cheekbone, and the red said apparently he broke a bone in his cheek, he would eventually leave. You see he is conscious there. Reds win it 7-3. Well, the Brewers make a trade for bullpen help on Wednesday. They price Scott Linebrink away from the Padres for three minor league prospects with pretty good numbers, lots of potential. Linebrink, 3-3, three 3.8 three, 3 ERA, will be a setup man for closer Francisco Cordero. Now, Matt Weiner's talking trades. Times I gotta tell you, kids out there, you gotta hustle coming out of the box. Great example here. Jimmy Rollins in the bottom of the ninth. Phillies trail by a run off Chad Kidera, puts one out in the warning track. Ryan Langerhans, who actually came in as a defensive replacement out there with Ryan Church, neither can get it. Rollins ends up scoring after the botched relay. They rule it a triple and a throwing error to tie the game at five, but here's the bottom line. You see too many big leaguers lollygag it after they put a fly ball out to the warning track. Rollins is busting it the whole way. You see the two outfielders coming together. You get the sense one of them should have made that play. Neither able to. Kids then learn to call it too. Yes, I got it. <laughs> and two hands on the ball when you're making a catch while we're out there. It's all about the fundamentals. Almost hit the cutoff man and then trying to get the throw home. In the 14th, still tied, not anymore. Ryan Howard, yeah. Get out of town, get out of the stadium, get out of the zip code. Howard's second career walk-off home run. He has six homers in his last seven games. All over the world on Wednesday, so we're going to show it to you here. Number 10 in our top plays, Fred. No, actually, it's Brendan Harris. Grounded a third, Aubrey Huff. Great stop and throw over to first. We we'll give you another look and, and bonus, more from the force in the inning. Number eight, Phoenix Mercury filling it up. The team extends its WNBA record by scoring 100 points for the fifth time this season. 103.79. It's a win over the Lynx. D had is safe to tie the game. They went on to win in 14. Number six, Devil Rays Orioles, Chad Bradford. Wow. Here's to you. Here's back to me. I got it. Johnny Gomes tried to take him out. At number five, Dodgers and Astros, Rafael Fercal. Two great plays in one on Craig Biggio. That's not nice to do that to Biggio. The first one you saw, and then there's the bare hander. More from this game coming up. Number four, A's Angels is the Angels' never-ending quest to get back to 500 in franchise history. Casey Kochman nips that one from Nick Swisher. We have more from this game later as the Angels try to get back to 500. We're running out of plays here, John. And number three, Cubs and Cardinals. Albert Pujols in the left center. Jock Jones out there makes the grab. Crashing into the fence. Cubs win at 7-1. All right, number two here are the A's Angels as the Angels try to get back to 500 in franchise history. Marco Scudero fly ball to right. Reggie Willis sleeps in a batting cage and apparently his glove is under his pillow. Excellent catch there. Ball Park division leading Brewers went in the last place since he hoping to get well. They dropped two out of three heading into the series finale. Ken Griffey Jr. also trying to get well and succeeding. Hitting a buck 67 his previous 15 games. That is his 588th career homer. 15 shy of Sammy Sosa fifth on the all-time list. To the 10th, Javier Valentin, an RBI single off the all-star closer Francisco Cordero, and the Reds take three out of four. So we go Cardinals Cubbies, one team, world champs. The other appears destined to never lose another game this season. Now we're Pujols, so hitless in the series, 0 for 11. Uh, don't wake up Al when he's sleeping with the bases loaded. Cards have won nothing. He gets plunked, so he's bruised, but gets an RBI. It's 2 nothing. Next batter. Oh, you've got to have the money ball. Chris Duggan, 20th homer of the season, second grand slam of the year. Cards up 6 nothing. Bottom six, two outs. Again, Pujols, yeah, you woke him up. You made him mad. 
and he is no longer hitless in the series. Three-run jack was 23rd of the season. Cards win 11-1, avoid the sweep, pulls two for four, five ribs, Cubbies stay two back with crew. Six season, Penny and the Dodgers paying a visit to the Rockies, a painful one at that. Bottom of the first facing Kaz Matsui, and Penny gets him looking. See you later. Top of the fifth, Penny knocks the Rodrigo Lopez pitch in the left. That's a base hit for the pitcher. Next batter, Rafael for Kyle. And Penny can jog around the base. He's gone. A two run over four for Kyle. His fourth dodge for five nothing lead. Here's Penny at the plate again. Slow roll at a third. Penny's busting out of the box. That's an infield hit, but he's an obvious pain. Watch it again. The word is an abdominal cramp from the Dodgers. He would have to leave the game, and he joins fellow injured Dodgers starters Derek Lowe, Randy Wolf, Jason Schmidt. Penny does get his seventh straight win against the Rocks. Padres, Astros, David Well. Still looking for his 236th win. Wells gave up seven earned in his last outing. Well, this doesn't go so well on the bottom of the first. Carlos Lee, two out hits will get you to heaven. He gets a halo and wings. His 21st, 2-1 Astros. Lance Berkman down the third base line. Craig Biggio scores. Astros go up 4-1. Yeah, look at this. Here's the fan. Grabs it. He's talking to the security guy. Bill says, uh, we need that. We're probably going to play a game here. Takes it away, and then, of course, there's more talk of security. He says, uh, uh, sorry, sir, but you're done watching this game. Ejected. Craig Biggio. That is just a laser for the home run. His seventh. Wells gives up seven earned again. This time in just three frames. The Astros win it 7-1. Pirates have lost 10 of 11 coming out of the All-Star break as they finish off their series with the Mets' big Shea. Oliver Perez was hot early on. He's been pitching very well lately, but at the top of the sixth, Pirates were down one nothing. Cesar is tourist batting with first and second, and Perez throws it away. So now we're all tied at one. Still that inning, and now it's 3-1. Pirates. Josh Phelps with a man aboard. If it's fair, it's gone. Oh yeah, it's fair, and it's gone. His first shot as a Pirate, his first home run for anybody since May 16th, and the Pirates double the Mets 8-4. Tigers White Sox finishing up a little five game set Thursday afternoon. Was this like the Texas League or something? Top three, no score. Nobody on, two outs, 3 0 count. Omar Infante thinks John Dinks pitched low. He, he, he thinks it's ball four. Okay, it's a strike. Good thing it was because he gets up there and then drills a home run. Infante's second of the year. See, sometimes it works out, it works out in your favor when you think you're getting job. Top nine, tied at three. Bobby Jane strikes out Brandon Inge to end the inning. Then in the ninth, Josh Fields. Cheese fries make you a savvy bunter. Plays it down. Zach Miner bobbles the ball, throws it away, and Scotty Pods. Round third, header for home. Brown eyed handsome man, and he is safe. White Sox win it 4 3. They win the series 3 2. Six or stop it. John Lannon, first career start. Hey, meet Ryan Howard. He can hit it that far. Better than 400 feet, I'm guessing. Phils take the lead 3 2, 29th of the year. Bottom five, Lannon hits Chase Utley. High and tight pitch. Utley not happy. Takes his base quietly. Would actually stay in the game. Afterwards, they say broken hand. See a specialist on Friday to map out his treatment out indefinitely. Lannon then hits Howard. Then, like that. Hunter Wendelstadt ejects Landon, home plate number. You can't do that. So Manny Atkins going to come out, and he's going to argue, and it appears to be double cheese. Wendelstadt gets Acta as well. Jose Jesus Flores takes Mike Zagurski deep. Three-run homer there in the eighth, and the Nets take a 7-5 lead, going to win it 7-6. So the Phillies losing one of the best offensive players in the NL. Look now, but here come the Diamondbacks. Micah Owings at his first career home run. And then with the bases loaded, nearly hit Young Young Kim. Kim able to avoid being hit, but that was ball four. And Jeremy Hermita comes in the score. The Marlins take a 3-2 lead. Bottom seven, Arizona down 4-2 with a pinch hitter. Connor Jackson gets into one. His seventh of the year, we're tied at four. Pick it up, bottom nine, two out, second and third. Armando Benitez, an 0-2 pitch, and Eric Burns, get out of town. A three-run walk-off job. Second career walk-off homer for Burns. Diamondbacks have won six in a row. They're a half game up in the wild card race. Some trade talk now with Jay Harris as the deadline approaches. Hopping for handbags with the Hilton sisters. Number 10, Fred. Holding. Nationals, Phillies. Dimitri Young hits the third. Oh, West Helms fields it, loses his shoe, then throws over to Chase Utley, who's got a broken hand. He's in the eighth. He's still there. Phillies, for all that effort, still lost. Lions win. MLS Chivas and the Red Bulls. Chivas, Michael Galindo, Ante Razov 
Header, goal. How about this? 104th goal for Razov, third all-time on the career list. Yankees and Royals, and, and joke if you must about the Royals being a minor league team, but this is a big league double play. Tony Pena Jr. to Mark Rudzelana, a tough takeout, and they still turn it. 6-4-3, and beat the Yanks 7-0. Number six, A's Mariners, ground ball Swisher off the glove of Nick Swisher. Mark Ellis, bare hand snake, throws to first. They work on that. It's good teamwork there as the A's win 6-2, and Swisher has a couple of home runs. At number five, Padres and Astros, Mike Cameron hits it deep to right. Lance Berkman, who put a hill back there? Oh, wait, there is no hill in right field. That's just in center. Berkman, great play. Astros win. Number four, CFL, Montreal Alouettes, Toronto Argonauts, final two minutes. Brian Bratt, punt return, finds the opening. He's going to take it 79 yards. Yards, of course, meters less 10%. Alouettes win at 26-13. At number three, two for the price of one from Josh Barfield here. Robbing David Ortiz out of the shift. And then here, Julio Lugo hits the second. Who needs a shift? Barfield a diving stop on the throw. Two rare highlights. The Indians lose 14-9. Number two, I'm back in Canada again. Canadian Open, Hunter Mahan, your first-round leader, 9 under 62. Why? Three eagles. Here he holds out on 9, he holds out on 18, and then on a par 5. Yeah. Seen on your TV, Barry Bonds back in the field, homeless since last Thursday in Chicago, just five for 30, hitting a buck 67 since the All-Star break. Buddy Carlisle gets him here in the bottom of the second. Bonds leading off the inning, and well, that'd been a home run if they were actually in a silo. They were not. Bonds 0 for 1. Top 14, Lincecum gets tagged by Jeff Francoeur. That just keeps going till it reaches the people. Two-run shot, two-nothing Braves. Francoeur's 11th, but only two runs. Linscombe would surrender in this one. Bottom four, Bonds up again, second time. Hitters count, three-run pitch, and, well, skies it. Ryan McCann, this one's going to stay in the, well, it's technically on the warning track near the fence, but the wrong way. Bonds 0 for 2. Bottom five tied at 2. Ray Durham singles to center. Dave Roberts scores from third. It's not tied at 2 anymore. Giants take a lead, 3-2. Next batter, Bonds, two on, two out. Gives it a ride, but it is, yeah, Bonds clearly knows that's not gone. Lazy fly ball, Willie Harris falls that one in. Bonds now 0 for 3 in this one. Top 7, though. Barry out there playing a mean left field. Chris Woodward, deep, Bonds at the wall, little hop, he's got it. And you're 43, we give you a top play nominee for making that catch in the seventh. Bonds finally delivers with a base hit. Looks like a simple single, gets by Andrew Jones, will score a double. Bonds then, pinch runner, done for the day. One for four as the Giants come up with a rare win. Four to two over the Braves. Pedro Gomez continues. Rod hit number 500 off the pitcher. He hit number 400 off of. You might recall June 8, 2005 in Milwaukee off Jorge De La Rosa. A-Rod went deep for career home run number 400. Might 500 be just around the corner? Not if you pitch him that way at the top of the first. An intentional walk. Yanks actually failed to score that inning. Yankees were down 4 0 in the top of the fourth. Well, De La Rosa pitches to him, and A Rod just flies out to center. On to the top of the fifth now. A Rod's third at bat. Here's another way to make sure he doesn't take you deep. You could hit him in the foot. 13th time this season, Rodriguez hit by a pitch again. Yankees failed to score. A Rod's fourth at bat in the eighth. Alex Gordon makes the nice stop. A-Rod 0 for 2 walking the hit by a pitch. Royals had the offense going. How about Alex Gordon? With a solo shot to right center, he finished a single shy of the cycle. The Royals blank the hot bombers 7-0. It's the third time the Royals have shut out the Yankees in Kansas City since 1990. The Red Sox and Indians played consecutive 1-0 games. Thursday night's get-together provided a few more runs and an appearance by Frank Robinson, the Hall of Famer, who threw out the first pitch. And then Manny Ramirez, first pitch swing, and get out of town indeed off Cliff Lee. How about 481 feet? Only Jim Tomey's 511-foot blast and Mark McGuire's 485-foot blast longer than Ramirez. It's Mike Lowell with a two-run single and a 7-0 Lead there. Cliff Lee joined Wes Farrell of 1933 fame. The only Indian pitchers allowing seven or more earned in three consecutive starts. Ryan Garko off Julian Tavares. Hey, it's a ball game. It's 12-9. But it's Ramirez again off Jensen Lewis. Grady Sizemore won't be able to bring this one back. Manny's 49th multi-homer game passes A-Rod, fourth most among active.